What's up, gang? Case here with our in-gym strength work for Wednesday, December 16th. This is our deload week, which means we are getting into new strength movements for our upcoming cycle. Uh, they'll be at tempo this week, but following weeks we'll get rid of the tempo and we'll push ourselves up in terms of reps and volume. We're progressing from lunges last cycle to front squats this cycle, so I want you to focus on um, the fundamentals when it comes to the front squat today. So first thing, shoulder width stance, toes pointed out. Remember, shoulder width means that your heels are directly beneath the outside of your shoulder. Once that bar is up in the front rack position, I want two finger grip today barbell resting on your shoulders and then getting those elbows up high ideally that upper arms parallel to the ground now a lot of times what this does is it pushes people's low back into extension so you've got to think about squeezing that belly tight getting your hips right beneath your shoulders and then once you feel that tight belly hips stacked then you can start the motion to begin hips should shift back a couple inches and then they drop down. That helps you keep your weight back in your heel, helps you load up that backside. On the way down, keeping a proud chest, high elbows, belly tight, gaze straight forward, and then in the bottom, also keeping those elbows up. First thing that comes out of the bottom, elbows, belly tight on the way back to the top. Tempo today is gonna be three seconds on the way down. One, two, three hold in the bottom for three and then a one second more powerful tent stand up to the top other mechanics to watch out for let's make sure that we can keep our chest upright knees out wide heels stay on the ground throughout and then ideally we're able to get our hips below our knees but don't go to this total bottoming out point where your spine starts to round under hip crease below the knee everything active and then drive back to the top five reps every set today you can build 10 pounds roughly in between each of those working sets um, but none of those sets should be extremely difficult today you should have even a couple tempo reps left in the tank at the end of each set you'll rest a minute in between movements movement number two today strict press Going over those basics, hip width, so our feet need to be more narrow, toes straight forward, and instead of a two finger grip, this time it's going to be full grip, elbows slightly in front of the bar, not high like the front squat, but bar still starting on the shoulder. Squeeze your quads, squeeze your butt, squeeze your belly. Once everything's locked down, we drop that chin back because we want that bar to have a straight path on the way up at the top still focusing on tight quads butt and belly barbell finishes right over top of the ear arms fully extended tight grip tempo today is going to be three seconds at the top and then one two three on the way down dropping that head back because we don't want the bar arching around the head on the way up or the way down we want that perfectly straight bar path today. Same thing, five reps each set, and uh, you can build on those strict press reps. You'll be, or strict press sets, um, on those smaller jumps, roughly five pounds in between your sets. Uh, let's see, I had one more thing I wanted to tell you guys, and it's escaping me now. Oh, different weights today for both movements. So you're gonna be uh, likely a lot heavier on that front squat, so during, that rest period, change out the weight from your front squat to your strict press weight. Uh, just plan on taking some time, putting some effort in to making those weight adjustments today. Once again, it's deload week. We're feeling these movements out, focusing on techniques and, and technique and mechanics. That's why we're doing uh, those tempo reps. Good luck on your strength work today, and uh, I'll see you back soon for our Metcon.